Hello again, everybody. The Manjaro team released the second preview of the KDE 19.0 branch. I wanted to take another look at it since I looked at the first preview. So if we run down through the highlights for this release, again, as I covered in the first one, the Breath 2 themes are one of the front and center improvements in this release. So you have the icon theme, console color scheme, the, so if we look at the Yaquake theme there, that matches up. There is a Plasma 5 theme, Splash Animation, SDDM theme, and wallpaper. And here's the nice wallpaper that goes along with that. They also show some additional theming for the analog clock here, which they mentioned here for, under the Plasma 5 theme. So I thought that looked pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and stick that on here and see how that looks. Yeah, that's very nice. Looks great. Looks like it's, just, looks like it's really just part of the desktop there. Very nice. And they call out also that the that Kate has a Visual Studio schemas. There's a light and a dark. And so if we look at a package build open here, and this is the light schema, the Visual Studio light. You see nice syntax highlighting there. And if we take a look at the dark, also have the syntax highlighting, and then obviously in a dark variant, that looks great. A lot of distros and KDE in general are now looking at this simple menu as an alternative to the kickoff menu. So by default, KDE Plasma normally comes with this kickoff menu. And it's a little polarizing. Some people love it, some people don't. And it's a little, it can be a little odd to work with just because you click into these categories and you're sort of going in and out of levels. It can be a little dif more difficult to use than some of the alternatives. I generally use the application menu, which is a much simpler menu. And it's just, I find it a lot easier to use kind of gives you all the controls you need just right here at a glance, and then you can very quickly get to what you need. Just for the sake of completeness, they also have an application dashboard, which I'm not sure a lot of people really like all that much. Um, it, it's not bad. It's a little Unity-esque, I guess, or maybe something like GNOME, and you still have your favorites and some quick shortcuts there. But the one that everybody's touting now and looking at is the simple menu. I think a lot of people are going to like this. It's a, it is, in fact, a very simple menu. First page is showing you your favorites. It's highlighting all applications by default, but these are your favorites. And then as you scroll through the different pages, now you are getting all of the applications on the system presented alphabetically. And you can still come over, and as you hover over these, it's showing you the ones that are in that category. You can also search in here. So if I'm Firefox, it'll come up. We'll also find. So if we look at the configuration, it'll find bookmarks, files, and emails as well if those things are being indexed on your system. You can change the icon. You can change whether it's the names or the descriptions that are shown and whether you have to click or you can hover to show the categories. And then also the keyboard shortcut, which is set to the meta key. So like I said, this is in Manjaro. It's, I've also seen this in Kubuntu. It's also, it's been a widget for a while. So this simple menu is a widget you could download and, and have install. It wasn't included by default, but you could install it and then replace the menu widget here with the simple menu widget. But I think people have really come to perhaps not like this kickoff menu and really just see it as a better option to use simple menu. I also saw some discussion around accessibility and especially for people with sight issues where it can be very difficult to navigate this menu and to find things in here because screen readers have a really hard time figuring out what this is, all these levels and how this hierarchy works and these categories on the bottom. And apparently this simple menu is a much more straightforward, easy way to find these things, I guess, because it's, everything's kind of in one place. That's really the list of items that they're calling out here. I also had a question in on the last video about these icons down here and how they look different from the system tray. So it's it's Plasma itself. The system tray icons are a particular size, and then widgets that are down here are a particular size in the clock. So all of these are widgets, okay? And these are individual widgets, and you can remove them or move them around if you want to, but they are sized slightly differently. And if you look at the system tray, there really aren't any ways to control the size of the tray itself to maybe make it a little bigger so that it matches. So if those if that bugs you, it's really pretty easy to just pull this off. So maybe the trash can is not something you want. And then what I see normally 
is that this is going to be all the way over here on the right. And then maybe it's a little less obvious or maybe a little less jarring to have that larger icon next to the smaller tray icons. So that was just a quick overview. These guys are doing an amazing job. They just had the first preview out last week. And so they're pushing forward with getting additional work done. This is really shaping up to be maybe one of the prettiest versions of Plasma I've ever seen. In terms of how everything fits together, and how cohesive everything is. It's really pretty impressive. Very much looking forward to the continuation of this. Congratulations to the Manjaro team. I'm a big fan of what you're doing. All right, well, thank you for watching the video today. Like and subscribe if you do. Questions and comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.